Welcome to a guide on how to get good at hunter. The most important thing as a hunter is to learn to be humble and respectful towards other players. Set up a campfire, taxi people around, tell a good story. Never mind I'm just kidding. As a hunter you are a god amongst every other player and you should only respect one person and that's yourself. I mean come on you shoot arrows at enemies how awesome and deadly is that? Who else can do that? Well I guess guardian, champion, borning but, never mind, here are a few things you need to be aware of as a hunter, when you are questing in landscape you are the alpha. You kill anything before it can touch you. Don't be afraid to brag about this. When you are grouping with others it's important to remember that you are the best DPS in there, you could outpass anyone even in yellow line. You may point this out to everyone. They will like you more after. If you get the highest pass, always, remember to post it and be smug. Real smug. Rub it in their lesser damage faces. You are the best. Although it is rare, sometimes someone will have a higher pass than you, but fear not, there is an easy solution. Just tell them your combat analysis bugged out and lie about your pass. They will believe you and accept you as superior. Sometimes you may accidentally pull a group of mobs. Remember to never accept the blame and preferably try to blame a Rooney Keeper. Sometimes fellowship members will ask you to port them somewhere. The best way to deal with this is to accept their request, start porting. And drop fellowship just before the port. You can then proceed to laugh at them in world chat while you take a sip of coffee. Here are some tips on dealing with the other disgusting classes in Middle Earth. Guardian. If you come across a guardian on landscape, the best course of action is to hide behind a bush and laugh at the poor soul as he tries to kill something. Once he finishes his kill, make sure to leap out and show him how to actually kill something. Optionally you may also slap him after. When you are running in a fellowship, you can think of the Guardian as your pet. You can feel free to pull anything within sight and if the Guardian doesn't do his job you are then allowed to curse him out and tell him to play a real class. It is extremely important that you take the opportunity to blame the Guardian for anything that gets pulled. He is the tank after all. As a hunter you have the privilege of demanding shield wall so you won't die. This is good for the group because you can now kill enemies. Without risk. Borning. There is a legend that says that Bornings can heal. This is just a legend. Bears are buffers for your damage and should always keep up the debuffs that will increase your damage. They should also keep their mark on you so you won't die. If they don't do these things then it is perfectly acceptable to write something rude in fellowship chat and then leave the group. Also make sure to put this person on your ignore list. Another huge mistake commonly done by Bornings is shifting into bear form. This obstructs a hunter's view and is completely unacceptable. The best place for a Borning to stand is to not be in the group at all if they don't obey your orders. At any point if there is a Borning healer and you die, you are allowed to curse them out for not playing a mini or not focus healing you. This will only make them better as players. You are helping them. Burglar. So you think you are so cool because you can go into stealth and get a crit on your first attack. Wrong. Burglars are merely the understudies of hunters, because hunters can also go into stealth and get a crit. Hunters don't even have to be close and they are just much cooler in general. Let's compare the time it takes for a hunter and a burglar to kill a target. Hunter, one second. Burglar. Ten seconds. Hunters are simply greater beings. It is perfectly acceptable to ask a burglar to use his throw a weak silly knife skill and then laugh out loud when you see it. You should also call him a wannabe ranged class and an obsolete human being. He will appreciate this. If you ever see disables on a target you are allowed to ask the leader of the group to dismiss this burglar. There should always only be enrages on the target to increase the damage you deal. It is only logical. If a burglar uses counter defense, 
then your course of action should be to convince them to jump off of Miner's tier if using safe 4. Make sure, they believe that they will survive. Then proceed to grab some popcorn and watch the spectacle. <laughs> Captain. Captains are leaders of men. They inspire everyone around them to thrive, wrong. A captain only has one purpose. They exist solely to give you blade brother and use oath breakers when you use burn hot. Anything else is considered desertion of your country. Some captains are capable of outputting some decent damage themselves. This is wrong. They should only be using skills that will increase your damage and then wait for those skills to come off cooldown. If you ever see a captain prioritize revealing mark for those really strong heals, then you can announce over microphone that we might as well kick the healer then. A captain should always use telling mark to increase your damage. If a captain dies he should have a do not fall because his main purpose is to put telling mark on the target and he needs to get up fast to serve you. A red captain should have at least 500,000 morale, because his only goal in this game is to serve you and he has to be alive to do this. If he has anywhere less than 400,000 morale, then you are allowed to hack his account and delete said captain. Champions. Now you may have heard a legend about a class called champion. The words sheing sheing may have been uttered. This is a myth and this class does not exist. If by accident you happen to get a champion in your group, make sure to spam in fellowship chat for him to use rend. This will increase your damage. He will laugh and appreciate it and accept you as his best friend. Another good practice when forming a group is to advertise that you need melee DPS. If a champion sends you a tell you can simply reply that you meant a burglar. This will cause him to agree with you and ask for advice on how to improve as a person. Hunter. If you ever come across another hunter player then you should try to give them lots of advice for them to improve. A good example is to tell them to always use light oils no matter what. Another good one is to practice yellow line as their main line. Also make sure to tell them to make a swap out bow for distracting shot resistance penetration and also explosive arrow damage. They will love you for this. If you come across a hunter who does not use a swap out bow of any kind, you may tell them to swap classes. Lawmaster. Lawmasters are your friends. They will give you stun immunity so you don't get stunned and then you can unleash your godly damage without any distractions. They also have a skill called Elor and this should be used solely for you. If a lawmaster fails at this job then you are allowed to call him bad. A lawmaster can also buff your damage using their funny skills. If they bring out their swamp monster they can increase your critical chance. Using fire oils will also increase your damage if a lawmaster is present. It will however also increase those nasty runey keepers damage too. So optionally you can send a tell to a lawmaster not to use fire damage buffs as this will make your damage higher than a runey keeper and this is good for everyone. Minstrel. As a hunter you should not care at all for the minstrel. Their main role is to keep anthems up for you and especially the anthem of war. This increases your damage and makes you happy. If a minstrel is not keeping anthems up for you then you should god help us all replace the minstrel with a borning. A minstrel can also play Song of Aid in the middle of the fight so you can use focus in combat. If they are doing this then they are playing a minstrel correctly. If they are not doing this then they should just make a healing captain instead because they are useless. If you die then you should not blame the minstrel directly, but instead announce in voice that maybe we should get a healer as it would make the fight easier. The minstrel will appreciate this and will try harder the next time. He will also thank you after. Rooney Keeper. Rooney Keepers think they are as good as hunters for dealing damage. They are a silly excuse of a class. Their main role in a group setting is to put a do not fall on you in case the minstrel fails at their easy job of keeping you alive. If you have more than one Rooney Keeper in the group, then they should all save their do not fall so you instantly have one on you when you get up. This will help the group immensely. Target acquired. Hey, what happened?
happened? The biggest mistake a Rooney Keeper can perform is to put their Do Not Fall on you while you are in stealth. This will break you out of stealth and will hurt your damage. If this happens then this is the only time you are allowed to ask someone to delete their tunes and re-roll a champion instead. The only other role of a Rooney Keeper is to make the enemies weaker to fire damage and your fire arrows. This increases your damage and you are happy about this. Just make sure to never admit this to the silly Rooney Keepers. Warden. Warden is the most wannabe hunter class of all time. They throw their spears pretending to be hunters. You may laugh if you see a Warden. They have to use skills to build their attacks which is just silly to you. You spare no energy for a Warden. The only use a Warden has is to debuff the enemy. This increases your damage and the Warden will love you for carrying them out of the retirement home. That concludes my guide on how to get good at Hunter. If you follow all of these tips then you will surely be a better Hunter. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.